Hi everyone, my name is Kalisha and today we're going to show you how simple it can be to set up a basic commercial audio system. Before we begin, let's define what we mean by a basic commercial audio system. A basic commercial audio system provides a comfortable level of background music with functionality for announcements for use in a medium-sized commercial environment, such as a retail space. It can help to create a pleasant ambience for customers while being easy to use for employees. For this setup, we will use the following equipment connected together in a basic audio signal chain. For input, wired microphone LBC290020, call station PLE2CS. For mixing and amplification, Mixer PLE2MA120. For output, ceiling loudspeaker LC9UC06, cabinet loudspeaker LB20PC164D. For control, wall control panel PLEWP3S2Z. And for music source, Plena PRM USD. Now let's start with the system connection. The mixer is the central equipment in our system and can be used on a tabletop or built into a rack. For our example, we'll use them on a tabletop. Now let's connect our audio inputs to our mixer, starting with our handheld microphone, which has an XLR connection. As the second input, we'll connect our call station to our mixer, which conveniently uses RJ45 connection. With the call station, you can make a live announcement through the system, for example, a call for a colleague in a retail space or a customer announcement. For the third audio input, we'll connect a music source to our mixer, which uses a standard RCA connection. This provides background music to play through the system by the FM tuner, SD card, USB, or Bluetooth connection. Connecting a public address system to the commercial audio system is useful in an application such as a retail space located inside a shopping mall. In such cases, for example, general announcements and messages from the main shopping mall public address system can be fed into an individual store's commercial audio system, which overrides background music or local announcements. Now for the next step in our signal chain, connecting our amplifier to the speakers, which are our audio outputs. The first speaker we'll connect in our example is the LB20PC164D cabinet loudspeaker. For this connection, we are using two loudspeaker cables to connect amplifier output one to our speaker, observing correct cable polarity. Our speakers use tappings so their power output can be adjusted higher or lower according to the needs of the coverage area optimizing performance and energy efficiency. When running multiple speakers from the same amplifier output, you can use our LBC125600 connector block to connect the speakers in parallel, respecting the maximum power provided by the amplifier and the cable power loss, which we'll cover in a future video. Moving on, the second type of speaker we'll connect to our amplifier is the LC9UC06 ceiling speaker, which you can see right here. We'll connect the ceiling speaker to output two of our amplifier using the same type of cable we use for the cabinet speakers. The tappings option for our ceiling speaker are directly on the speaker terminals. As with the cabinet loudspeakers, we can connect multiple ceiling speakers to the same amplifier output using the LBC125600 connector block to connect the speakers in parallel. Finally, connect your mixer amplifier to the mains and optionally, your music source.
Now we can run a quick system demonstration. First, let's hear some background music in Zone 1. And now, Zone 2. We can easily make adjustments via the front panel, such as the master volume and tone control, as well as the input setting for the music source. Or make your selection via the wall panel. Now, let's make an announcement to Zone 2 while playing background music in Zone 2. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to see more videos.